Good afternoon, I'm Suzanne Pennycook. I'm passionate about vintage sewing machines, but this afternoon I'd just like to introduce you to this one. Um, it's a Singer 319K. And what's different about this machine is it's actually quite remarkable for a machine that was built in the 1950s in Scotland that it actually produces hundreds and hundreds of different decorative stitches um, by what they call a swing arm mechanism. I was actually doing a demonstration or a sample piece just to show all the stitches that it can produce. There are literally hundreds of them that you get by combining um, different cam discs and also what they call the piano keys, which you can see they're situated on the top of the machine. Just quickly like to show you how you actually produce these stitches. Um, like I say, this machine has all these different cams. Often you'll come in a box set and they're quite expensive. Um, you'll currently pay about £70 for a set of these. I'll just like to show you how you attach them and how they work. Literally, if you look at each disc, I don't know if you can see that, it doesn't really matter. Um, each disc has a different design on and a different Simanco number so that you know then that they're originals. I'll just take it over to the machine now. On the exterior of the machine you'll see this disc and literally there is a little um, dimple on the disc. You pop your cam on and then there's this big screw. which literally fixes it on. Now to engage the disc, you lift the first of the piano keys and that actually locks on there so that it can feel its way around the disc. You can actually vary the stitch as well. Um, you can actually vary the stitch length and you can vary the stitch width so you can have a variety. For today's purpose, I am just doing everything on a very, very small stitch with a wide width so that I get the maximum effect. So, just bear with me. It is quite a noisy machine, but as you can see, it's a zigzag stitch. It has a staple belt, and that's what creates that noise. But I actually love it. So, there you go. This is just on a piece of bias binding just to demonstrate. There you go. And, like I say, literally, you can uplift these keys so you can actually change you've got multiple options here you can have them all up all down which will actually change that original cam it will straight stitch as well so it's just see by just moving those piano keys it changes the stitch there's another version of this machine called the 306k which is basically the identical machine. Again, that's changed it quite differently now. That's put it onto straight stitch because it just engaged that main cam there. But by just lifting it up, it brings it all back in. The 306 is basically the same machine, but it doesn't have the piano keys, so you can only get the um, external effects. And there's also a, th a free arm version of this, which is called the 320K. Absolutely my passion machine, it's my favourite machine. I took him off a salvage yard and restored him. You can still get all of the parts and you'd be looking at paying around about £180 for a good condition one of these machines. Thank you for watching.